Hello YouTube, it's Sabrina from Sap Soaps and today we're here working on um, more restocks as usual. Um, I don't make that many new ones at this time of the year anyways, I'm usually just restocking my shelves. In this case, um, I'm making lavender. I have made lavender since I started making videos, yes, but I didn't record it until now. Hey. Um, so we're going to um, we're going to make it up for you today, and I also make it up in a checkerboard pattern um, in purple and white because I like it. So because I do it in a checkerboard pattern, I use my mold last reflexes. I use my uh, my smaller mold, and I have created a partition here just using some uh, cardboard and some popsicle sticks um, to make it a little more grippy, um, somewhere to grip it, as well as um, a little more sturdy. Um, so because I use those, I use my little molds, I have a little more control that way. I could use my 18 inch mold, but yeah, I prefer the small ones. All right. So at this point, um, I had this all set up as of yesterday, so all of this is absolutely ready to go. No, that's not cream of leek and potato soup. A potato and leek. <laughs> so well, let's get soap in. Just in order to take the, uh, the tape off at this time. Lavender bath bombs. It's a lavender day today. And we'll put a little bit in this one. And we'll put a little bit in this one. And we'll put a little bit in this one. And we'll put a little bit in this one. Have a good old spoon. This is lavender essential. I've done it many times. 
with this particular scent and this particular recipe, so I know it's going to stay fluid for a really long time. I could buzz it. Just enough. So because this is going to take a while to set up, and because I do want it to be a, like a real checkerboard pattern, I'm going to pour the bottoms, I'm going to wait for it to set, and then I'll pour the tops. But I almost feel like... Right, so I think that these guys have settled up enough that I can pour. Um, while I was away, well, the camera's off, I should say. I was playing with my um, divider. Just because I wanted to be a little more secure. I'm not even sure if you can see what I've done over here. I've used popsicle sticks to um, hold it, so it looks like it's... Yeah, it's, it's pretty much about half. Kind of slightly off anyways. Um, it doesn't have to be exactly perfect, I mean this is handmade, um, but I am going to take this, when I'm done pouring this, I'm going to take it out and put it on the side, and then I'll show you how I do the top layer. <clears throat> because you must, and I'll repeat, if you're going to do a checkerboard, I, you must pull the cardboard up from the bottom layer before you pour the second layer, and this will prevent you having a smear from the bottom all the way up. Now, I thought it was just me back when I first started playing with this, because the, um, the person I learned from didn't pull it up halfway through and they always had a smear and I'm like, there's gotta be a better way. And sure enough, both the Soap Queen and um, Soaping One on One say the same thing. So, it's out there, pour it, pull it up halfway through, you'll see, you'll, you won't end up with a <clears throat> with a smeary looking checkerboard to this one. So anyways, um, as you can see, these are starting to thicken up, so, but they're not like piping consistency or anything like that, but it will be certainly solid enough that it shouldn't just start pouring out of orifices. Okay, so we'll get the first one in here. I know you guys can't see. I wonder if I can do it like this. Can you see that one? How's that? Alright. So let's take these things out before I have an accident. I should have a separate one for a purple one and then a white one. So let me get out enough. smearing into the white part. Huh? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I think I do want it a little deeper there. Let's give this a little bit of a stir. Hope it keep moving. It's thick enough at this point that I think I can just go like this. Sorry. 
cleaned up in no time. I'm going to get my little stir stick out here. That'll help me even it out. I'm going to pour a little more on the white side to even it up. Making a mess. Now I've got white all poured down that side that has to get cleaned up. Okay. Alright, now it doesn't necessarily matter. I was just about to whack it without my cloth. You guys know why I use a cloth when I whack it. Like, I don't know if I've ever told you. It really does deaden the sound. <laughs> I mean, I have neighbors all around me. I have a store beneath me. And I'm sure they don't want to hear gunshot sounds, because to me that's what it sounds like. Okay, so, we pull it out. Immediately put it the same way down into the new one. Side. A smack. Okay, half and half. Put that one aside and let's bring in the second one. Okay. So everything tight. Toit. Like a toy guy. Perfect. Alright, so this is a bit of a bitch, so let's stir her into submission. Okay, let's stir her the fluid. Definitely not going to pour out my money. Oops. Get my stick. Oops, I got some white over on the side. Alright, so now I'm just going to pour in a little more.
And like this, this one here, I do take my time with it. It's better to work with the thicker, not with the thinner. Now you, you can have a difficult batch like this one's being, one thin and one thick. But if you do take your time with it though, it is possible to uh, make it pretty perfect. Okay, so I think that should be half. I'm looking at where this one's sitting and I want at least that to be... Okay, looks pretty darn good. So let's start lifting it out. So that now, this time I'm putting the purple in on the white side, and I'm putting the white in on the purple side. Now, I'm usually just give this a clip. Get this side, oops. Just need to set it down just about two mil, two three millimeters down into the into the soap. So let's hope that this holds. <laughs> so this is definitely thickened up enough in here that I can, I think I'm just going to end up spooning it. Let's do that. Let's spoon it. Spooning it will make me happy. Slowly enough. All right.
doing guys? How's the light? Can you see? Is it bright enough? <laughs> um, I'm going to cut the lavender. with a straight blade. Now well, it's been 12 hours since I made it. It's not perfect. <laughs> it's not. doesn't have the smear up from the bottom, so I'm happy. So there was the last piece. And the back side of that, where it creeped around the side. And the second last piece, which is perfect. Love it. My lavender. Alright guys, you know the drill. Let me clean this up and I will take you down and show you what I got. Alright guys, there's my lavender checkerboard. Didn't turn out too too bad. You know that, that one bat like was a little wavy on the top. It doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter at all. It's so delicious. And it's a favorite. I can't keep this stuff on the shelf. It looks so much more blue. <laughs> than it is in real life. It's much more grapey from this side. But there they are. Gorgeous. Gorgeous lavender. Just wonderful. It looks like fudge. Wavy. Sab's all about the wavy. Look at this one. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. Well, guys, I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.